Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. This is module 7 of third grade. Please write your name first so you can get credit for your homework and not turn in homework with no name. Shade in squares on the grid below to create as many rectangles as you can with an area of 18 square centimeters. Now the idea for this is not to fill in the entire space with different rectangles, but to make as many different rectangles, find, find all the rectangles that can uh, have an area of 18 square centimeters. So we're thinking of rectangles, right? We're also thinking of, we're talking about area now. Area. So now we're thinking about multiplication. And that means what are the factors of 18, right? Because we're talking about arrays, and those are the sides of arrays, or their factors in multiplication. So that 18, what are the ways you can multiply to make 18? Well, there's 1 times 18. And what about 2? 2 times 9 will work, won't it? And 3, can you make 3 times 6 is 18? And what about 4? 4 won't work because that goes from 16 to 20. 5 won't work because that skips over 18. It goes from 5, it goes from 15 to 20, so that doesn't work. And then you're up to 6 again, and you're looking at 6 times 3. And you're back. Once you start seeing the same factors again, you've figured out all of the... Once you see the same factor pair again like this, then you've, you've figured out all of the factor pairs for 18. So those are there's three rectangles we're looking for. The 1 by 18, I'm just going to go all the way across because there's 18 columns here. So this is a 1 by 18 rectangle, and I'm going to label it 1, 18, 18, and 1. And I'm going to draw the 2 by 9. So that's 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's two rows of 9. And then I need a 3 by 6. So we'll start down here so we have plenty of room. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Three rows of 6. Fill it in. And label 3, 6, 3, 6. And now find the perimeter of each rectangle in problem one above. Now you can either you can either describe them somehow, but we want to say that I'm going to label them like you see in some of the homework assignments we have where they label the uh, rectangles with letters. So I'm going to call this rectangle A and this rectangle B and this rectangle C. So that way I can refer to them down here. So rectangle A is, now we're trying to figure out the perimeter, right? So it's not the area, because they're all, they all have area of 18, it's the perimeter. So that, that perimeter is two 18s and two 1s. So it's and there's lots of ways to do this in your head. But I think of two uh, 18 plus 1s, that's two 19s, and I know that that's two 19s is 38 because two 20s would be 40, but it's two less than that. So 38, and these are centimeters, right? Because I think those are square centimeters. Yep, those are square centimeters. So the uh, perimeter is going to be in regular centimeters, not square centimeters, because square centimeters is counting squares. We're not counting squares. We're counting, like on this rectangle here, we're counting sides of squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. And those are one centimeter squares, so each side is one centimeter, six centimeters. 
it's just centimeters for perimeter. And the perimeter for B is, that's a 2 by 9. So it's 2 plus 9 plus 2 plus 9. And that looks like two 11s. And two 11s, sometimes uh, third graders become fans of 11s because it's a really easy number to multiply. That's 22 centimeters. And then C is 3 by 6. So I'm going to circle these as I go. And C is 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3. And you can see that that's two nines, which is 18. Estimate to draw as many rectangles as you can with an area of 20 square centimeters. Label the side lengths of each rectangle. So this is kind of the same thing, but we're just not doing it on the grid. So and we're going to do the same way. We're going to figure out what are the factors of factor pairs for 20. Well, we've got 1 times 20. That would be a really skinny one. And then there's 2 times 10. And notice I'm going here. I'm, I'm looking at 1, 2. And I'm just going to keep going in order like that until I start seeing the same factor pairs again. So this is 2. And these long sides are 10s. And I should have made them a lot shorter because it should be half of the 20s, right? But it's just not going to be perfect. So uh, threes, is there anything I can multiply by three to get 20? Well, three times seven is 21. That's close, but uh, there's nothing that three works by because if you're counting by threes, uh, you get to 18 and then 21, so it skips over. Three doesn't work. Uh, four works because it's four times five. So this is going to be four. So that works, and then uh, the next number after 4 would be 5, and that's 5 times 4, and that's the same factor pair. So now I'm just going to find the same rectangles again, uh, counting my way back up to 20. Uh, so those are, that's it. There's only 3. Which rectangle above has the greatest perimeter? And how do you know just by looking at its shape? Well, let's see. This one here is two nines for 18. This one is two twelves for 24. And this one here is two twenty ones for 42. So the way you can look at this and see that the one that has the longest sides is going to is going to have the greatest perimeter so I'm just going to write down what I said. The 20 by 1 rectangle has the greatest perimeter. It has the longest sides, right? Because longer sides are bigger numbers, and bigger numbers add up to bigger numbers. Which rectangle above has the smallest perimeter? How can you tell just by looking at its shape? So I, we kind of figured that one out. The 4 by 5. And let me, I can write this out too. So uh, 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 equals, that's 18. And this was 2 plus 
10 plus 2 plus 10, and that was 24. And this is 1 plus 20 plus 1 plus 20, which is 42. And it's good. I probably should have written that down in the beginning. And if you skipped it, it's probably okay, but it's good to see that so you can go back and refer to it. Which one has the smallest perimeter? How do you know just by looking at its shape? Well, I think kind of the same thing. It has the shorter sides, right? So the 4 by 5, or you could write 5 by 4. And it's going to be very similar reason, except this one, it has the shortest sides. I know, I know that, um, yeah, it has this, well, I know the four, this side four is longer than, is more than the, the two. And it's certainly more than the one, but maybe it's the, Maybe it's the length of the longest sides.